Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News where we dive into the biggest waves in the gaming ocean. Today, we've got some massive news that's shaking the very foundations of mobile gaming Fortnite and the Epic Games Store are making a grand comeback to iOS in Europe. That's right, after a long hiatus and a highly publicized dispute with Apple, it looks like bridges are being rebuilt. So, let's break down what happened, what this means for gamers, and my take on this gaming industry earthquake. First up, a quick recap for those who might not have been following the saga. Fortnite, one of the biggest games on the planet, and the Epic Games Store, a major digital distribution platform, were previously removed from the iOS App Store. Why? Well, it all boiled down to a dispute over Apple's policies and fees, with Epic Games challenging the status quo and Apple standing firm on their rules. But now, in a turn of events that feels like a plot twist in a gaming epic, Fortnite and the Epic Games Store are back on iOS in Europe. This isn't just good news for gamers itching to get back into the action on their iPhones and iPads. It's a potential game changer for how game developers and the App Store might interact going forward. Let's talk about what this means for us gamers. First off, the return of Fortnite to iOS opens up the game to millions of players who prefer gaming on their mobile devices. Whether you're on the bus, on a break, or just chilling at home, having Fortnite accessible on iOS means more opportunities for victory royales. But the implications go deeper than just one game's availability. This could signal a shift in how Apple deals with major game developers and their platforms like the Epic Games Store. Could we see more flexibility in App Store policies? More revenue sharing models that favor developers? Only time will tell, but it's a fascinating development. And let's not forget about the Epic Games Store making its way back. This could open the door for a wider variety of games to find their way onto iOS devices, giving gamers more choice and developers more opportunities to reach their audience. Now for my take. I see this as a huge win for gamers and a positive step for the industry. It shows that even giants like Apple and Epic Games can find common ground, especially when it benefits the gaming community. It also puts pressure on other platforms and developers to think about how they can better serve their audiences. However, it's also a reminder of the power dynamics at play in the tech and gaming industries. Disputes like this can significantly impact what games we have access to and on what platforms. It's a win for now, but also a call for ongoing vigilance and advocacy for fair practices in the industry. But what do you think? Are you excited to dive back into Fortnite on iOS, or are you more interested in what this means for the future of mobile gaming? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to keep up with all the latest gaming news, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our updates. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep gaming. Always.